welcome to engineering visualization channel so now today problem number 18 the square pyramid of base site 45 altitude 70 mm is resting with its base on hp with the two sides of the base parallel to vp so <clears throat> first we are going to construct the square pyramid of base site 45 mm and altitude altitude means it is nothing but height a uh, height of the axis okay it is 70 mm, height of the axis 70 mm resting on hp with two sides of the base parallel to the vp here okay first i am going to construct an xy line drawing xy line and write vphp that is your first quadrant and construct a square here so the base parallel to the vp <coughs> so dimension here it is 45 mm exactly at 90 degree we can do it construct the square and give the naming a b c d and show the dimension of it okay so the dimension of the square pyramid it is 45 mm So here it is parallel to VP, that's how we have drawn. You can see that edge DC and AB are uh, parallel. AD and BC are parallel to VP. You can see all the edges uh, here are parallel only, that is AB and DC. now draw the slant edges since it is a pyramid uh, we should draw the darker line here that is thick lines we should draw since it is a pyramid so in pyramid uh, we should draw the thick lines okay inside lines should be darker lines here a thick lines should be drawn so connect from b to d and A to C and mention O1 ok now project it upward to draw the front view so in the front view we have to consider the altitude altitude does nothing but the height so here it is height of 70 mm So draw the front view. So front view of a pyramid it is a triangle. Okay. So here the height it is uh, 70 mm. You can show the dimension. Okay. Now we have to show the cut plane. The pyramid it is cut by a section plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined at 40 degree to the HP okay and this cutting plane is bisect the axis bisect the axis means exactly we have to consider the midpoint so bisect means it is nothing but midpoint so midpoint of the axis here uh, the axis length is 70 so exactly half midpoint means it is 35 mm so mark at the midpoint show the dimension here uh, the midpoint height it is 35 mm okay 
and we have to draw an angle line for 40 degree and we need to extend that because it is exactly cutting at 40 degree angle here will be showing the angle there hit on the like button subscribe to my channel share it to maximum students so that they can be benefited can write the cut points now 1 2 3 4 1 cut point is a cutting at a slant as a view 2 it as b view 3 at c view and 4 at d view okay now you see here uh, none of the slant edges here uh, are not parallel to the x y line so we have to make a parallel here okay none of the edges either you can see a o or b o or c o or d o none of the slant edges here are not parallel to the x y line or parallel to the v p plane so what we have to make uh, we have to take any one of the slant edges and we have to make it parallel to this x y line so take the compass First, I will draw a mm, horizontal line and measure the length of BO that is slant edge BO while making that uh, BO slant edge parallel to XY. Measure the length and cut an arc. Okay. So now making it parallel to the x y line okay parallel to the vpr you can say that now project upward till the x y line now from that x y point of intersection join to the apex here so this is what your slant edge length okay now measure the length how much you're getting it measure it is 77 mm so that is what your slanted is length okay first i'll be drawing that slanted is length okay that is 77 mm show the dimension is O A now measure this length using compass and draw an arc here now we have to cut the arc points uh, with the dimension of 45 mm here it is a square pyramid that means a total four arcs we have to cut from the reference point of A. One arc, second arc, third and fourth. Okay. And you can write down this as B, C, D and A. Now join all these uh, uh, cut points. Join to the reference point A O here draw a straight line from where you have cut it and marked okay subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited now draw the base edge so base edge it is 40 so connect all this with a straight line so 
So you can show the dimension for one base head that is uh, 45 mm. Okay. Now I am uh, transferring all this uh, point number 1 and 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the slanted length ok so from the exactly cut point draw the line the cut point that is 2 3 this is 1 and 4 ok now take the compass uh, measure the length 1 and 4 having the same length so that's why I'll measure only one length here and cut arc on OA OD and again OA ok That is your one and that is one and four. Now two and three. Two and three are on the same point. We'll measure the one length here and cut it on OB and OC. That is two and three. Now we have to connect all this one, two, three, four with a straight line. Okay, now we have to dark this uh, lower cut portion. Okay, I'm going to dark it. Hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest uh, notifications and share it to maximum students, your classmates, so that they can be benefited from this channel. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video.